the Prime Minister only makes statements upon credible advice from state agencies, and they are expected to deliver on these announcements. An irate MP for Kompia Mamboom, said John Pundari, said this as he said concerns surrounding the announcements of important events surrounding the reopening of the Pogora mine, including the actual date that the mine would be reopened. He said state negotiations team, agencies and departments that provide such advice to the Prime Minister must take full responsibility. Upon whose advice was the dates given? Question to who is to blame for this? Is it the state negotiating team, MRA, Treasury or who? And have we dealt with those responsible? Mr. Assistant Speaker, have we dealt with those that have misled the People's Office twice by advising on failed dates to open the Pogara mine? Mr. Assistant Speaker, can the people of Papua New Guinea know how much has been paid to the state negotiating team on Pogara alone and any other consultant associated with these negotiations? Would I be correct in saying that they may have been paid, Mr. Assistant Speaker, well, well over a hundred million kina to date. Sir John also raised concerns that being an MP from the Oost province, he is yet to get the report of revenues from equity and royalty received over the last 30 years. He further reiterated that Pogera is a significant asset to the country and that we must learn from the past. I have heard that there are audited financial reports for the revenues and expenditures of Pogara funds. But to date, I have never cited one, Mr. Assistant Speaker, even when I was Minister of Finance and Chairman of the Public Accounts Committee. Mr. Assistant Speaker, can the Prime Minister confirm if these funds have been audited or not? Question two, if so, Mr. Assistant Speaker, can the Prime Minister direct the Auditor General's Office to make those audited reports available to the public? Prime Minister James Marape directed relevant ministers to take note of the questions and revert to said zone in writing. He also apologized for the many dates set for the reopening of the mine and assured Parliament that the benefits from the new Pogara mine is far better than the previous mine deal. He also announced that the Development Forum will convene in Vabeg next Monday. Freddie Mo. TV One News.